This year for our summer vacation, we are road tripping to the Black Hills and Badlands regions of South Dakota. In this video, we'll share with you some of the fun places you can explore if you visit this beautiful place. What do you see? It's a marmot. A marmot, huh? <laughs> On our way to South Dakota through the Black Hills of Wyoming, we made a stop at Devil's Tower, the nation's first national monument. If you're traveling to South Dakota through Wyoming, like us, you're definitely going to want to take a quick detour at Devil's Tower. When you get to Devil's Tower, you are going to want to do the 1.5 mile loop called Tower Trail. It goes all the way around the base of Devil's Tower and it provides really beautiful, epic views. You don't want to miss it. So right there is a guy climbing and way up here is a guy. Let me zoom in. We can go up the boulder. Not only are there epic views along the way, but there's plenty of little boulders that your kids will have a really fun time exploring. They've already plotted out where each of them are going to sleep for the night. <laughs> Yeah, come on. We gotta go. So how Devil's Tower was formed is a question of debate. The answer you get will depend on who you ask. If you ask the geologists, they'll tell you about uh, molten magma being pushed up through the earth. I think my favorite story is the Native American tradition. The legend is that there were two Lakota boys who were part of the Native American tribe that lived here. They wandered off from their village and got lost. And then a big massive bear came and was trying to eat them. So they prayed to their God of creation to save them. And this rock rose out of the ground. And so the two boys were on top and then the bear still trying to eat them was clawing on all sides of the rock, which is what you see here, the claw markings of the Devil's Tower. See the Native Americans have a much better story than the geologists. After we finished up at Devil's Tower, we headed to Rapid City, South Dakota. On the way, we took the scenic byway drive through Spearfish Canyon. This 19 mile scenic drive will give you easy access to three beautiful waterfalls. We are here at Rough Lock Falls. The waterfalls are beautiful here and it is a perfect place for a picnic. It is covered with trees soft grass right next to the stream. There's fish in the creek and our kids love giving them the extra bites of bread that they did not eat from their lunch. It is a beautiful place. What is that, Isaac? A fishing rod. You made that all by yourself? Mm -hmm. Okay, let us know if you catch some fish. The Black Hills are alive! <laughs> the Black Hills of South Dakota were so beautiful they made you want to sing. For our first day in South Dakota, we headed to Custer State Park. Even though Custer is a state park, it's national park caliber. You could easily spend multiple days here. One thing that you're going to want to do is take advantage of some of the beautiful hikes in the park. After stopping by the really cool and interactive visitor center, the first hike that we did was the hike to Cathedral Spire. You access the trailhead for this hike by traveling along the famous Needles Highway. On this beautiful scenic drive, you'll travel through some really cool one-way rock tunnels. Who knew that these rock tunnels are guarded by stormtroopers? Oh, stormtrooper. Cathedral Spires is a short, family-friendly hike that will get you up-close views of the park's iconic cathedral-like spires. This was my favorite hike in the park. This is so beautiful. It's like walking through the Garden of Eden. From there, we headed to the park's most popular area, Sylvan Lake. You could easily spend an entire day playing at the lake. Bring your own water toys like kayaks or paddle boards, or get to the park early enough to rent one from the lake. While we were at Sylvan Lake, we took the opportunity to do the park's most popular hike, 
the hike to the Sunday Gulch. Little rain never hurt anybody. We are on the Sunday Gulch Trail. We haven't even made it to the trailhead yet and it started to downpour. <laughs> we'll see how long we last. Luckily, we found a little covering to keep us a tad bit drier. Hey, Letty, what are you guys doing? Why are you hanging out underneath this rock? I don't want it to it's rain. rain. Everywhere in this park, it looks like you're walking on like gold speckled trails. So we're, we're admiring all the pirate that you can pick off at the side of the rock. Okay, it's looking like we got some blue skies here behind us. We're on our way. Today is a snack along the way. We're feeding the fishes. <laughs> you are the fish. Oh, go fish. Don't drop them. Oh. For most of this hike, you're going to be walking along lush forested trails. But what makes this hike extra special is climbing up the large boulders and clinging to the handrails as you climb out of the gulch. Wow, good job. High five. You even get to climb up a stairway of flowing water from the creek. Isaac, you did it! Good job, you are the trail master. Show all the scrapes you got. Let's show, let's, let's show all the scrapes you got. You got a bump here on your head, knee, and your elbow, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You did a good job, little man. Another scenic drive that you're not going to want to miss is the wildlife loop. While traveling on the wildlife loop, we saw deer, antelope, prairie dogs, and butterflies. Ah! Get it. I caught a butterfly. You caught a butterfly in the car? Yeah. How? Oh my gosh, it went into the car and they got trapped inside a book. But the highlight of the loop was seeing the gigantic herds of bison. We just turned the corner and we thought we saw maybe one or two buffalo, and then it turned out to be the whole hillside covered with buffalo. <laughs> never experienced being this close to a bison before. They were huge. They were taller than our vehicle. We could have stuck our hand out of the car and touched them. Of course we didn't. But it was super cool seeing how massive these beautiful animals can be. What is that, Madeline? It's how much grass a buffalo eats in a day. Wow, was that heavy? Yeah. Look. Can you pull it? Pull together. You pull. and Rachel. Whoa. 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 The next day, we headed to South Dakota's most famous landmark, Mount Rushmore. We're here at Mount Rushmore today. I want to know three things from my girls. Whose faces are on the mountain? Who carved it? And how long did it take? Mount Rushmore is way more than just a photo op. They have an amazing interactive visitor center that explains exactly how this massive monument was built. Eliza, who are the four faces on Mount Rushmore? The four faces are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Theodore Roosevelt, and Abraham Lincoln. Good job. We also did the famous President's Trail. It's only half a mile, but it is 425 stairs. Not that we were counting, but you won't want to miss out on the epic up-close views that you will get of the presidents on this trail. What do you see? George oh, cool. You're right under George Washington's nose. Hopefully he does not blow a booger at us. <laughs> so this is like the rock. Another fun thing about Mount Rushmore is that, huh, did I mention that there are 425 steps around the trail okay take two another cool thing about mount rushmore is that there are members of the lakota tribe who volunteer their time to answer questions about the tribe and they also do cool native dance performances
We also took a crack at doing a dance. <laughs> I think we will leave it to the Lakota tribe to do the dances in the future. So Letty, how many years did it take them to finish sculpting Mount Rushmore? 14 years. 14 years. Okay, Madeline, question for you. What is the name of the sculptors of Mount Rushmore? Uh, it's... Okay, Madeline, who are the sculptors of Mount Rushmore? Butson and Lincoln Borgla. Excellent. We want to make it as easy as possible for you to have a fun family adventure in South Dakota. In the description below, you will find a link to our free family-tested travel guide. This 22-page travel guide includes a detailed five-day itinerary, and it's loaded with tips and tricks to help you maximize your fun in South Dakota. Another place that we visited in South Dakota was Badlands National Park. Today we are at Badlands National Park. We're here for yet another Junior Ranger badge. Show me your Junior Ranger badges. Wow, turn around. Even on the back. That is a lot of family road trips right there. Our favorite hike that we did in Badlands was the Notch Trail. We're hiking the Notch Trail. It's one and a half mile trail that takes you up and down a rope ladder that leads you to a notch in the rock formations that gives you a scenic view of the valley below. Great thing about this national park is that the kids are free to climb all over these mounds. Park ranger said it was okay. American Ninja Warrior, go! Oh. American Ninja Warrior, American Ninja Warrior, up, 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 whoa! A hike is a lot more fun with your little ones when the hike turns into a scramble. A metaphor for life. Please use the path to the right. Choose the right. What did you guys find here? A bucket hole. A little bucket hole? What was the best part of this hike? On the rocks. And the thing weird is that is when you climb, you don't even know that you're going like like miles. Yeah, you're having such a good time you don't even know that dad has tricked you and made you walk one and a half miles, huh? Yeah. <laughs> when we got done with the hike, we took the scenic loop road out of the park where we were able to check out the views from several scenic overlooks. This is panorama viewpoint. And here is the view from the pinnacles overlook. My favorite part of taking this loop was getting an up close view of a big horn sheep. So we just finished up Badlands National Park. Now we are on our way to the number one roadside attraction in the United States, the Wall Drug Store. It got its claim to fame in the 1930s by offering free ice water to tourists. And now it's ballooned into a huge fun attraction. Badlands National Park gets 1 million visitors a year. This wall drug store gets 2 million visitors a year. So we're gonna go check it out. So where do you get free ice water? <laughs> we'll go ask them. So where's the free ice water? Under the buffalo head, we'll bring you the free ice water. Hello. Okay, here's the free ice water. Show me what you got. I got a dream catcher. Dream catcher? I got a big old pencil. Giant pencil. I got a grabber. And a grabber. So carry on, how is your donut? It's really good. It's a cake donut with maple frosting. You girls find a boyfriend? No. <laughs> <laughs> South Dakota is known for its caves, so if you travel to South Dakota, make sure you visit one of their caves. We happen to go to the Rushmore Cave. So we are at the start of the Rushmore Cave tour. Your flashlight to them. <laughs> that is really cool. <laughs> Our tour guide was great. He listed his top five caves in the area. First is Jewel Cave. Second, Wind Cave. Third is Rushmore Cave here. Fourth is Black Hills Cavern. And number five is Wonderland Cave. 
if you come to Rushmore Cave, just know that it's more than just a cave. It's actually an adventure park with zip lines and a mountain coaster. You could spend a lot more time here. Our kids had a fun time sluicing through some rocks and minerals and finding some real gems. You can buy a bag of dirt at the gift Whoa. shop. We had a great time at Rushmore Cave, but you'll definitely want to get a reservation for Wind Cave National Park and Jewel Cave Monument. The only disappointment from our trip was when our cave tour reservations at Wind Cave National Park got canceled because of an elevator issue. Okay, we finished up the Rushmore Cave. Now we are headed to the Cosmos Mystery Area. I really have no idea what this place is about, but we've heard really good things about it. So we're gonna go check it out. Okay, Carrie Ann, how would you describe the Cosmo Mystery Area? It's hard to describe, but if you watch Disney Channel's Gravity Falls, it'll give you a good idea of what it'll be like. Get some vertigo, Carrie Ann. <laughs> You're drumming me. <laughs> right here in my hand, I have my trusty tennis ball. Now, if I set this tennis ball on this ramp right here, science says that when I let go of it, it's going to roll downhill towards that water cooler, correct? Yeah. Yes. Yeah? Well, here at the Cosmos, you guys can see we don't really like to obey the laws of science. What? We are going to start heading into the first room of the cabin. They're going to go up this wall over here. Come over here. Whoa. <laughs> Reason we're leaning. My friend right here. Can you go ahead and grab this metal bar above our heads with both hands? Thanks. And then you can go ahead and freehang there. Freehang. Let your freehang. <laughs> 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 now you guys can see right up flashing, not hanging very straight, right? She just pulled in towards us. Just like those screws we saw earlier, she pulled in towards us. Now, before I let you guys try it out, are you in on this? <laughs> 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 Both are. Now lean forward. <laughs> okay, lean forward, Eliza. Whoa. Whoa. Put your arms up, Supergirl. Cabin, <laughs> once again, when you guys get up here, just give me a minute. Eliza, why did you get so short? No. Isaac, you're taller than Eliza. Oh, I'm carry you. Whoa, Isaac just shrunk into a little miniature. <laughs> so what is your review of the Cosmos Mystery Shack? It was really fun. <laughs> so Carrie Ann, I was pretty skeptical coming here. What's the final verdict? I think it's worth a stop. <laughs> Cosmos Mystery Area. Our kids had a lot of fun here. For our South Dakota vacation, we stayed in Rapid City. We chose Rapid City because it was a central location for all of the things we wanted to see. Anything you see in this video was within one hour of Rapid City. I do want to mention where we stayed in Rapid City. We stayed at one of the five hotels that surrounds the Watiki Water Park. It was fun to go out adventuring during the day and then come back and relax and let the kids play at the indoor water park. How you doing, Isaac? Hey, Eddie. My bed's on a little screaming. Not only does Rapid City make a great hub for exploring South Dakota, but there's also a lot of fun things to do in the area. One place that we went and visited was the Air and Space Museum. One of the great things about staying here in Rapid City is the number of free activities they have for you to try. We couldn't possibly show them all to you. We are here at one of them, which is the Air and Space Museum. Hey, Letty, give me a super blow. So that was B-51 that was flying over from the Air Force Base. A lot of really cool airplanes here. 
here is the B-52 Strato Fortress. Right here behind me is the Titan I nuclear missile. Right here behind me is a VB-25J. What makes this airplane extra special is it was General Eisenhower's personal transport airplane during World War II. So Eliza, do you like this place? Yeah, I like it because we get to see all the airplanes and helicopters from way back then. Another place you'll want to visit in Rapid City, especially if you have little ones, is Storybook Island. We are here at another fun free place. This is called Storybook Island. It's essentially just like a public park put on by their Rotary Club and it has all these little storybook vignettes the kids can go around and just play. Isaac is having a great time. He's just running from one thing to the next. Get my workout in today. So Letty, do you like this park? Yeah. Yes. How come? It has everything. It has everything, huh? Yeah, this is a kid's dream park. <laughs> Isaac, you gonna ride this train? You guys excited to ride this train? Yeah! <laughs> so Carrie what's the verdict on Storybook Island? It's the perfect spot to bring your kids, to let them release some energy, to have a picnic, to grab an ice cream cone, just to have a great time. And I cannot believe that this place is free. Another fun thing to do in Rapid City is to explore their downtown Main Street. They've got great shops and restaurants, and they also have a President's Walk. All along Main Street, you'll see bronze statues of past U.S. Presidents. Here we have John Quincy Adams. Doing the President's Walk downtown would make a fun scavenger hunt for your kids. Right, President Monroe? We had such a great time here in South Dakota. There are so many things to do. There is no way we could get done all the fun things there are to do here in just a week on our vacation. We had no idea that South Dakota was such a beautiful, fun place with so much culture and history. Well, thanks so much for watching our video. Bye. Bye. I feel a song coming on. Peaches, 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 peaches,